one of the most important aspects to studying oligopoly and monopoly is deciding whether a monopoly or oligopoly exists. One of the ways to do this is to calculate something called the concentration ratio. This is the measure of how concentrated a particular industry is. The concentration ratio is the percent of combined production of the leading four or eight firms in an industry. The formula, the formal formula is the sum of the market share of the leading firms divided by the total market size times 100%. Once the concentration ratio has been calculated, we then need to compare the results with a known set of values. 0% indicates no concentration. 1% to 50% represents a low concentration, which is either monopolistic competition or perfect competition. 51% to 80% is a medium concentration, which is characteristic of monopoly ballistic competition or oligopoly and 81% to 100% is a high concentration which is, indicates either the existence of an oligopoly or a monopoly. The procedure for calculating the concentration ratio is 1. Total the amount of production for the entire market. Total the amount of production for the leading four or eight firms in the market. Divide the market share of the four or eight firms by the total market, sh market size. Four, multiply the result of the division by 100%. The final step is to evaluate the situation based on the following criteria. 0% means no concentration or perfect competition. 1 to 50% means low concentration or monopolistic competition. 51% to 80% means medium concentration, characteristic of monopolistic competition and oligopoly. And finally, 81% to 100% is high concentration, which indicates either the existence of oligopoly or monopoly. An economic analyst is trying to determine the level of concentration in a particular industry. She finds the following data about the industry. Firm A produces 150 million units. Firm B produces 100 million units. Firm C produces 80 million units. Firm D produces 70 million units. And the remainder of the market, firms E through Z, produce a total of 450 units. The first step is to find the industry total. We do this by summing the production of firm A plus the production of firm B plus the production of firm C plus the production of firm D plus the production of firms A through Z. In this case, firm A will produce 150 million units, so we will add, put that into our formula for firm's A production. Firm B produces 100 million, and we will substitute the 100 into the formula for B's production. Firm C produces 80 million units, and so 80 million will be substituted in for Firm C into the formula. Firm D produces 70 million units, and so we will substitute in 70 million for firm D's production. The remaining firms E through C in total produce 450 million units and so for their production we will substitute in 450. The next step is to add up all the production of each of the firms. So their industry total will be equal to 150 plus 100 plus 80 plus 70 plus 450. This gives a total of 850 million units 
that the entire industry produces. The next step is to total up the, the production of the four leading firms. In this case, the four leading firms are Firm A, Firm B, Firm C, and Firm D. The formula that we're going to use to do this is the total of the leading four firms is going to be equal to the production of Firm A plus the production of Firm B plus the production of Firm C plus the fir production of Firm D. First we will substitute in Firm A's production into the formula since A produces 150 million units 150 will be substituted in for Firm A's production. Firm B produces 100 million units and so we will substitute in 100 for Firm B's production. Firm C produces 80 million and we will substitute in 80 for Firm C's production. Finally, Firm D produces 70 million units and we will substitute in 70 into the formula for Firm D's production. The next step is to add up the individual production of all of the four leading firms. This means we will add 150 to 100 to 80 to 70. This gives a total of 400. The next step is to calculate the concentration ratio. This is done by dividing the total production of the leading four firms divided by the total production of the entire industry and multiply the answer by 100%. The four leading firms produce 400 million units and so we will substitute 400 into the formula for the, for the total of the four leading firms. The entire industry produces 850 units and so we will substitute this into the formula for the entire market production. The next step is to divide 400 by 850. The result of the division is 0 0.47. The next step is to multiply 0 0.47 times 100 percent and this gives 47 percent. The next step is to take the concentration ratio and check it against our criteria for determining the level of concentration. Our first step is to compare that 47 percent with 0 percent, the no concentration level. As we can see, 47% is much greater than 0%, and therefore we are not in a situation where there is no concentration. The next step is to compare 47 to the next criteria, which is 1% to 50%. In this case, the 47 percent is indicative of a low level of concentration. This implies that the market is, has the characteristics of monopolistic competition. 